Well, hello there, and welcome to the channel. We are Walking Talking Gardens. This is the lovely Lorna. Hello. And I'm Simon. And in this video, we're going to be talking about just how do you get to Tresco Island? Because there's quite a few ways. And to be honest with you, you might not know any of them. So, um, Lorna, how many different types of ways can you get to Tresco Island? Three different ways. Which are? Which are, you can get there by helicopter which is about 15 minutes from mm -hmm. Penzance. Um, you can get there by small plane, which goes from Land's End to St Mary's, the island there. Or you can get on the ferry, which takes about two hours, 45 minutes from Penzance. Yeah, regarding the plane, depending where you are in the UK, you can take a plane to Exeter Airport. Yes, um, of course, yeah. Take about an hour from Exeter. Yeah, Newquay right. Airport. Um, and also you can get like a shuttle flight from Land's End. So there's, there's three airports that you can fly into and then get the small plane over onto the island. And, uh, and like you just said, the helicopter, that, yeah. that goes from Penzance. You, if you want to drive there, you drive to Penzance and um, you park it in the, uh, the, the airport, yeah, yeah, the heliport, and then the, yeah, it's only 15 minutes. 15 minutes and it goes all the way to Tresco. So that's unusual because that goes to mm. Tresco. Um, whereas all you wanted to go to St Mary's, so once you're at St Mary's, if you wanted mm. to go to Tresco, you've got to get on a small boat and go across. It takes about 10 minutes. Um, but we were lucky when we went there, it was beautiful and it was really calm and very nice. But yeah, you are going to need a small boat ride if you go to St Mary's. The, um, yeah, so the only island that has a runway to take the plane is St Mary's. So all your shuttle planes, St Mary's. So if you want to go to another island, you've got to get a boat to whichever one you want to go to. So that's all the airports, that's yes. the helicopters. Yes. Now which way did we do it? We went on the boat. I didn't like uh, really any of those options. I would prefer to drive, to <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I decided to uh, brave it and go on the ferry. So there's, um, right, that ferry journey is on the uh, Salonian Throat. And it's a two hours and 45, 50 minute um, trip. Now the thing is, it's only about 30 miles away from the mainland, but even so, this is a bit of a long trip and it can get a bit rough. On our way out, I wouldn't have said it particularly rough, it didn't bother me in the least, however, there was much... Carnage, um, I <laughs> say. Yeah, there were many strange noises in the bathrooms and people were looking extremely ill. So if you are prone to seasickness, maybe the, the Sisolian trip is not for you. And uh, that's not the end of it because if you're going to Tresco, and I assume you're going because of uh, Tresco Abbey Gardens, which are absolutely amazing. Can I just say, the, uh, the helicopter lands in the field. Outside the garden. Directly opposite the entrance, so it couldn't be any easier. Uh, and really, I think that's the one I would recommend is the helicopter trip because it's very, very fast and it gets you right on the island. You don't have to mess about. And when you do get there, you get picked up by electric, um, electric uh, bus so you don't have to walk anywhere yeah. so if you're lazy like we are it's the easiest option hold on a minute hold on a minute i've got something important to say if you've enjoyed this video or just find some of the information in it useful to you then consider clicking on the like button that way it makes it a lot easier for youtube to find other people who want to find that information anyway no further ado let's continue finding out what old boyle butt has to say um, what was I going to say about the boat? Yeah, so the, the Sicilian 3 takes you, that mm. takes you to St. Mary's. Mary's. So you've got to get a second boat, a smaller boat to uh, Tresco. That boat is called the Pyracantha. It's very small. But you know what? That was a really lovely uh, journey uh, across there. I think it's because the seas are quite shallow because it's an archipelago, archipelago of islands. They all come up. But that, you didn't mind that, did you? It's called Firethorn, but you called it the botanical name Pyracantha. Was it called Firethorn? Firethorn and Briar, yes. Good point, yeah. you, It just you... made me laugh with how your brain works there, really. Yeah. So you translated that into Latin plant name. Pyracantha is Greek. Pyra, fire. Thorn, yeah. And the cantha part means thorn. Yeah. yeah, my apologies, yeah. my apologies. So that's how we did it. So we drove to... Penzance. Penzance. Next to the heliport. Park next to the heliport. Yeah, we stayed overnight because the 
the boat went out quite early, didn't we? We had to be there. We had to get up at half four in the morning and get there for half five because the boat was sailing at half six in the morning. So um, it was going to be later, but they changed it at the last minute. So. Uh, and it's, it's quite a journey for us driving down yeah. uh, to Cornwall as well. So. And, and the park, it's a little bit of a park and ride. So when you get to Penzance, you'll you'll go to, the parking is next to where the parking is for the um, helicopter. The helicopter. Yeah. And then you'll get picked up in a uh, in a little small bus and they drive you to the quayside and you walk yeah. down and get on the, uh, yeah. the ferry. So that is very easy, but yeah. That's the advantage of the boat. It is half the price of the helicopter and then the small plane is even more expensive than the helicopter. So the most economical way to go across is on the ferry. But not if you're staying over the night before to catch the early one, because then you've got to pay for the, um, for the extra hotel and the meals and mm -hmm. stuff. So it kind of works out. I think it's fine. I think if we did it again, we'd go in the helicopter. Yeah. But the, uh, yeah, the ferry was rough. It wasn't as rough on the way back. The, um, the small boats um, were actually very easy. There was hardly any movement on the boat whatsoever, and that was that was all quite lovely. The boat was beautiful. I mean, yeah. We were very lucky with the weather. We went across in August though, and uh, mm. it was so scenic. It was absolutely lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. So I mean, but I can imagine if it's uh, raining or a bit rougher, it's not quite as pleasant mm. a journey. But yeah, we were very lucky. Very lucky. And again, where we landed on Tresco Island at their Little Key. The electric bus was already there to meet us and took yeah. us to the hotel because there's only one hotel on the island, which is the New Inn. I think that's everything yeah. we have to mention yeah. about that, don't we? It was great. It's well worth a visit, definitely. Yeah, so if you've got anything you'd like to add to that, um, we'd love to hear from you. Just put that in the comment section. But uh, assuming you don't, consider subscribing. It's absolutely free and it helps this channel more than you know and uh, supports us so we can do more interesting and more fancy videos. You know, I think it's... Uh, Goodbye from you, and it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Right now, just before you go, if you want to see more content, more behind the scenes stuff, and uh, images that I've taken of some weird, freaky plants over the years, then uh, you're in luck because we've created an Instagram page. So uh, you can find the link in our description. You can find the link on our main page, and if I'm clever enough, I might better get a link somewhere up there anyway thank you for watching and uh, if you want to see more youtube stuff then uh, check out this video here that's quite a good one and if it doesn't float your boat then uh, another one right there and uh, enjoy these while i still got the strength imagination and aptitude to make them thank you for watching goodbye